If you, um, let's say we took Susan's final SVG, she showed you how she rendered it as SVG. That SVG file is usable in the Canvas software for Scan and Cut, or if you can import now with Scan and Cut 2 directly to the machine with uh, SVG, then that SVG file can be used in Scan and Cut. Same with Make the Cut. If you go to Make the Cut and you select all and export as SVG, you're able to use that SVG in, in many different software programs. In, including, I have to add to that that I have started with a new embroidery program. I just still do all my designing in Make the Cut because the embroidery program takes SVGs, so I'm still able to use Make the Cut, and I just export it when it's ready as an S, as an SVG. So not only cutting machines that you you make take export once you've done your design, you can save it as an SVG, and it'll just pop up, and it's a true SVG, so it will open in your other program. So that's a, and um, if you're going to do scan and cut, you need to, let's, looking at that bicycle, you have lots of different layers. With scan and cut, you're going to have to unstack those layers in order for it to interpret the different colors. Um, so make sure when you save your SVG that everything is um, unstacked, like, like she's showing on the screen right now, and then... You can bring it right into your software, and then you can can uh, cut this. You select it all. If you just select one piece, it'll only save the one piece, what you've got selected. So you've got to select it all like that, and then go export to SVG and save it. The other option is if you don't want to cut all in one pass, let's say you want to use one color paper at a time, then you're going to need to export each color as a separate file. Otherwise on your scan and cut you're going to need to put several different pieces of colored paper on one mat in order to cut the whole file at once. So it's your choice. A scan and cut doesn't have a lot of options to break your files and especially if you're bringing it right into the machine, you need to make sure that they're in a usable format, uh, that the SVG looks like you want it to look and ready to cut. Yes, so you would just, you would just select this one, save that, export that, sorry, as SVG, save it as, say, silver, Select this one, save it as red, red down here, save it, and then you can bring them all in one at a time for your different colours.